While combustion of fossil fuels makes up the majority of air pollution in the U.S., sources such as agriculture, residential buildings, and wildfires are also significant. The study is limited by its small size and it makes it difficult to accurately study correlations, Pedersen says. Although residential exposure to ambient air pollution reflects an important part of the external exposure, exposure during transportation, inside the home, and at other locations probably also contribute to the measured internal dose. Rebecca Schmidt, Ph.D., is leading a study called Biospecimen Assessment of Fire Effects, Be Safe, a several-year-long investigation into how wildfires in Northern California impact the health of survivors. As part of the project, Schmidt, who is an assistant professor and molecular epidemiologist at the University of California, Davis, hopes to learn more about how exposure to smoke can affect pregnancy. Is chronic air pollution, like traffic air pollution all year round because you live near a freeway, different than if you're exposed to a brush fire or wildfire for a few weeks, or maybe nowadays, a couple months? Schmidt asks very well. In the past few years, California has experienced wildfires that burn urban spaces as well as brush and trees. The smoke created by these fires can have different amounts and kinds of particulate matter, depending on what burns and at what temperature. Even when scientists only consider traffic-related air pollution, there can be significant differences in the composition of pollutants in cities around the world. It's hard to tease out the factors because people who are exposed to severe air pollution are also exposed to other environmental problems or injustices or stress, Schmidt says. Regardless of the source many people who are exposed to high levels of air pollution experience inflammation, especially in the lungs, and elevated risk of cardiovascular disease. The bottom line, Schmidt says, is that air pollution can have clear adverse effects on one's health even if the exact particulate matter is unknown. In the U.S., people living along the West Coast are likely to continue living with high exposure to smoke as wildfire season continues this month. In cities around the world, the particulates in air pollution from traffic and myriad other sources will continue to find their way into our bloodstream and organs.